Hi there, welcome to Kebby Shades. Nice to see you, nice to be back here. Uh, it's been a little while, it's good to be back in the bathroom shaving. The brush for today, uh, Kebby Shades DS Cosmetic uh, Synthetic Knot. Great brush, love it. That's the brush. Razor, Parker variant. I've not used this for a long time. Uh, this is an adjustable, you can see the numbers on the bottom there. Yeah, one through to five. Just twist that and there's a little dot there that shows you what number you're on. The blade I'm going to be putting in that is a Derby Usta or Usta or Usta. Um, this is the second use on that blade. One dot on the back, so this is number two. Um, and now the thing about these blades is, as you can see, they're unbranded. So kind of like the Kai blade, but luckily, Unlike the Kai blade, they come in this wrapper, so you know um, what the blade is. Okay, let me just uh, twist this. This is a two-piece razor. Comes apart like that. Yeah, similar to the Merker Progress. Blade goes on the top like that. Um, and there's a little arrow. Well, there's not an arrow on this one. There's a little, can you see that notch there? Just up on the, the top cap. So that notch has to correspond with that little, um, I guess that looks like a flame, that little notch there. So you put it together like that, screw down the handle at the bottom, and those two have to line up. So you can see them there lined up. That means it's a uh, it's all lined up good and, and you can adjust it. I'm going to start it off on setting three. So number three there, one through to five, I'm going to have it on number three. Um, for this, I think there's about five days growth here. It's been a little while. Yeah, I've, uh, I've not had time, I've been shaving, but I've not had time to film a video. I've been dealing with, and you guys know what it's all about, shit, dealing with shit. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Everybody has shit to deal with, right? Yeah, well, it's been happening here. So there you go. Uh, I'm going to bowl lather today, the Kevy Shaves Bowl, but I'm going to press the soap into there. And this is, uh, as you can see from the title, this is a, a new base, a new soap base from Phoenix and Bow, um, the UK uh, artisan soap maker. Uh, and Kerry very kindly sent me a sample. Uh, it comes with this. In the paper. This is their new Sovereign soap base. Here's the soap here. I'll just peel this off. A nice, generous sample. So this is a uh, unscented. I'll just push that into the, the bottom of the Kevy Shaves bowl. Just going to press it in a little bit, just to, so it sticks in there. There we go. That's the soap there. Yeah, not really much scent on it. A little bit of uh, avocado oil, which Kerry mentions in his letter. So um, he included this letter with all the ingredients. So what I'll do just now is, I'll let you guys uh, read the letter. I'll read it out to you and you can see it and follow it. And then come back and I will prep my face. I'll throw some hot water on this and then we'll start lathering the soap. So I will see you in about two or three minutes. Hi Kevy, enclosed with this note is a sample of our Commando Sovereign Tallow Shaving Soap, which as discussed, is the unscented version of the new formula. We'll also be making our vegan formula available as Commando, as well as three other scents, Dreamtime, Wilderness and Lavandula. Scent-wise, I get lots of the goodness that has gone into the soap, with to my nose at least a nice note of natural oils and buttery goodness. I can certainly detect the unrefined avocado oil we use. 
None of the notes are overpowering, but I would say certainly noticeable when you give it a sniff. See what you think. If you wish to do a video on the soap, you'd be very welcome to share the ingredients list, which is as follows. Aloe vera juice, goat's milk, coconut milk, mango butter, kapaku butter, kokum butter, shea butter, camelina oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, tamanu oil, babasu oil, meadow foam oil, steric acid, beef tallow, castor oil, safflower oil, vegetable glycerin, lanolin, alentuan, tusa silk, sodium lactate. Design-wise, I've taken all of my learning from our original formula and wanted something that ticked the following boxes. 1. Easy to lather. 2. Low profile, super dense lather. 3. Ultra slick and protective. 4. Fantastic post shave. Needless to say, I'm very happy that I fit all aspects and we've found the soap a joy to shave with. But they're my views and respective testing feedback, naturally, you'll make your own mind up. What I will say, and speaking solely for myself, is that I can now wield my Blackland dart with near reckless abandon. I found the soap enjoys a lot of water and usually a 10 to 20 second load is sufficient for a three pass shave with heaps of super dense lather left over or the obligatory Kerry Kevy post shave lather face rub. Something we've also noted is that during loading, you can really feel the density of the lather suddenly increase and hit that goopy sweet spot. From there, with that heavy feeling knot, it can be taken to the face and water added to suit your own preference. We found it to be very forgiving. Both Sovereign and Vegan will be offered in approximately 60 gram bars. We've yet to finalise the shape, but they'll either be round or circular, and will come packaged in biodegradable cardboard boxes that will be printed with our designs and necessary copy, so no more hours of hand applying stickers for us. This is a step change in format, and we really want to do our bit in reducing waste and being more environmentally conscious. For the time being, our original tallow formula will remain available as 115 gram, 4 ounce soaps that will be packaged in the current and recyclable polypropylene jars. Lotions, splashes and solid colognes will remain unchanged for now. Price point is yet to be nailed down, but given they'll be almost half the standard size, we're targeting sub £9 per soap. Hopefully that's enough information, but please feel free to come back to me if you have any other questions. In the interim, have fun with it, let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoy. Warmest regards, Kerry. Right, so that's the blade loaded in the razor. You've read the letter. Yeah, that was a beautiful voiceover that, wasn't it? Really nice. <laughs> um, right, okay, here's the soap here. I'll just, uh, a wet brush. It's a little bit damp. We'll just gather some of this soap actually. What I'm going to do is just throw some water in there. There is some water in that. I'll pour that out just uh, like so. So Kerry said about a 20 to 30 second load, so yeah, really wet there. So wet a damp brush, but I just threw some water on the soap. Tipped it out, and uh, that's what you get. Yeah, so this is the new Sovereign um, soap base. Um, and as you've seen from the letter, if you want to go back and have another read of that. Wow, look at this. Right, I'm thinking that's probably enough. Nice and pasty in the brush. Um, we'll take this lather. Put that on the face. How are you doing? It's been a while since I've seen you last. Um, as I film this, it's uh, Saturday afternoon and there's a storm coming. Storm Kira. Um, it's not here yet, it's still quite bright here. The wind's getting up a little bit, but um, I think it's supposed to be later on tonight and into Sunday, so we shall see, God, look at that, that's enough there, <laughs> that's enough there to, yeah, and I can feel that, that's uh, really slick in my fingers, so we shall see how it goes, 
Uh, I'm looking for the brush, there it is. <laughs> right, okay. Let's go with this. It's always, um, it's always nice to test and use soap base. I still have some of Kerry's uh, from Phoenix and Bow. I still have some of his first soap. Um, he sent it out to some people, God, it must be about three or four years ago now. And I still have it pressed in a, like an old coffee mug. This looks a nice lather. Let's do some water in there. Bristle from the brush. Yeah, look at that in the, in the brush. Yeah, it does, um, at the moment, it does feel denser than the original Phoenix and Bow formula, which I guess is uh, what Kerry's looking for. Right, just uh, adding some drops of water there. Well, I'm going to need a, I'm going to need a lot more water. <laughs> Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip the whole brush in the water. Right, so you can see that there. That wasn't just the tips, that was the whole knot. Yeah, like I say, it's always good fun to um, test out a new soap base because you never know how much water it's going to take because if um, you haven't seen others use it and stuff like that, so the ladder's flying everywhere. Right, look at that. I think um, I think it needs more water. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's just dip the tips. This time, wow, there's flying all over the place. A little bit more water. Those of you that know me know I like a uh, I like a soap that takes a lot of water. I like creating the lather like this. I like a rich, thick, dense lather. A bit like myself, mine is the rich bit, thick and dense. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. Really nice. Yeah, look at that. You see those peaks here? Wow. Yeah, so probably only need half that time of loading. Look at that, the lather in the brush, absolutely amazing. I'll get rid of this. Cleaned up here. Lather the bowl, so yeah, good stuff. Right, I'll keep the Parker variant with the Derby. Right, how, how do you say it? Usta? 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 I don't know. Right, here we go. Uh, setting three on this for the first pass. Yeah, as I said, I have um, about five days of growth. Nice slickness, nice slickness. Yeah, good cushion as well. I can feel the uh, the soap doing its thing. 
doing its job uh, protecting. When you have a, a thick, dense lather, the, the cushion on it this is good. Wow, that does feel um, really good. Yeah, I know um, as you'll uh, as you shave, more time you shave, the more different soaps you use, different bases and stuff like that, you get to know soaps. Uh, how they perform, you know, and this is a. Uh, I know how Phoenix and Bow perform, and this is a quite a. It feels quite a step up in the uh, consistency of the lather and the feel. I'm not saying it was bad before, but this just feels uh, it's just a a good few notches up. Feedback on that razor, the sound. Okay, first pass done. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice residual slickness. Okay, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, rinsed off. Yeah, really good uh, residual slickness. I can feel it, there's like a, a film on my face there. Okay, back to this brush, look at that. Really good, look at that. Yeah, it definitely is um, a thicker lather <laughs> than their previous base. Uh, because this is not um, unscented, there's not any. I'm not getting any reaction on the skin to it, so that's good. Yeah, I think nowadays um, there's so many. Great soaps out there um, being made by artisans. They really need to be on top of their game to keep up with the pack, I would say. <laughs> right, I'm, uh, I'm going to keep that on three, set in three uh, for the across the growth. remember this razor being that loud. When I'm uh, shaving you can really hear the feedback on it. Of course maybe it's the blade as well. Really good.
think these Derby blades used to be is it Derby Premium? I'm just uh, seeing there's a tiny little bit of overhang at the side there. Can you see the tabs sticking out? Um, Yeah, it's a Derby Premium they used to be called. Good razor this. A lot of people say, um, ask me questions like I bought a Merker 34C or a D89 when I've started out uh, but I feel it's maybe time to move on to something else. What, what do you suggest? Uh, I think a great way to go uh, as a little step up, as an adjustable razor, whether it's this or the uh, the Micro Progress or you know the Rockwell 6C or 6S, I just uh, yeah, it just gives you options. I think it's great, great way to put a little step up. This is a great razor. Wow, that's even more slick now. It's a second pass. Okay, let me rinse, come back for the third pass. Uh, I'll change the setting on that to two and uh, we'll get going again. So I'll see you in a moment or two. Okay, here we go again. Still plenty of lather in this brush. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, Phoenix and Bo have a, a kind of time scale for this uh, new base. I know um, they always let their soaps cure and stuff like that, so maybe Kerry will be able to uh, tell us in the comments. Kerry, if you see this, you could let us know the kind of time scale for the first soap, but um, yeah, plenty of lather in here, really good, okay, right, against the growth, so I will turn this down, uh, you can see there it's on three, so I'll just turn it down to, oh that's the wrong way, uh, two, okay, there we go, right, against the growth. Excellent. Yeah, no pressure on the razor to slip the the blade and the soap to do its thing. slick enough to just go over any bit. What's your um, favourite soap base at the moment? I know that um, Man, I've just released a new one up there quite recently. If 
Feels good. Okay, let me run and see if there's anything new. Top. Okay. Yeah, just the usual down this jaw. This jaw line here and uh, under my neck. That feels good. Right. What I'm, what I'm going to do, or what I like to do with an adjustable like this for pickups, these are the bits that uh, I always miss. So I've missed it twice on setting three. Uh, they're still here, there. They're still here, there with setting two against the growth. So what I like to do with an adjustable is turn it up the way for the pickups. So from two, I'm going to go to setting four. Just a very light touch. Just to get these little uh, stragglers. Yeah, as I say, um, some people might think, well, aren't you supposed to go down the way, like with an adjustable? You can hear that there. There's no right and wrong way, as I always say, but um, I like to just do this for the pickups. Uh, just go up the way to, so it's more efficient, aggressive. I mean, it doesn't feel aggressive in any way at all, but this blade. Yeah. That feels excellent. Very good. Okay, I'm calling it there. Right. Face feels amazing, really, really good. Look, really, residual slickness is great. <laughs> Let's see how much uh, is left in here. Yeah, easily enough for the Kerry Kevy face wash. Now, a lot of people say I do the Kevy Shaves face wash. I actually got it from Kerry at Phoenix and Bow. Uh, I saw him do it in a video. I think he still does it. So it's actually. Um, him that I saw doing it and I just copied him and then nicked the idea. Sorry Kerry. <laughs> no, but uh, Kerry started it so... Yeah, right, okay. I'm just going to rub this in. Feels really nice. Yeah, unscented so no scent from it. I'll rub it in, I'll leave it on, clean out all my gear and uh, rinse it off with icy cold Scottish water and I'll see you for the post shave. Whew. What a great shave. Skin feels really soft, conditioned, yeah really good. Okay, post shave, uh, Mersol plastic. Uh, this is a, like a rose scented because the soap was unscented, I could kind of go with whatever splash I like, but this is uh, good for the skin. To go with the soap, just a little splash of that. Not one bit of sting. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, there's a little bit of menthol in that, which you can feel, which is nice. And to finish it off, uh, I'm going with a very simple Balm Nivea uh, Originals Replenishing Post Shave Balm. Not used this for quite a while, so just a drop of that. Yeah, nice uh, clean, soapy scent. Really good. Skin feels absolutely fantastic. OK, 
Okay, that should be done. Okay, let me uh, show you what we've used in today's shave. The razor for today, the fantastic Parker variant. Uh, an adjustable razor. Yeah, here is here. Very good. Inside that, a derby. Usta, usta, usta. Uh, this blade here. <laughs> One of these. Yeah, second use on that blade. Very good in that razor. Uh, set in three for the first pass, uh, with the grain and across the grain. Setting two for the against the grain and pickups on setting four. Uh, there it is here. Adjustable, you twist the bottom here. Yeah, great razor. I've not used it for a, a while. Good weight to it. Nice balance. Very good. Excellent razor. The brush was the DS Cosmetic Kevy Shaves. I'm not sure if this is still available. I'll have a look for the links. Great brush. I know some of you have got it. I love it. Yeah, it's a nice design there. But the knot is fantastic. Really good. Star of the shave. Uh, this in here <laughs> doesn't look very good there, does it? But um, this is a, a new soap base from Phoenix and Bow uh, in the UK. This is a tallow and goat's milk. Uh, the new base is called Sovereign. Um, yeah, I'll probably scoop it out of there. Look, it's still a little bit wet, so I'll leave it upside down, let it dry out, and then maybe take it out. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, I put a little bit of water in there, tipped it out, lather it up, lathered it up. Easily enough for three passes and a face wash. Um, the lather's dense, slick. It's um, it sounds terrible when I say this, but it's better than their original base, which I guess is what Kerry is looking for. It's, he's trying to better it. He's trying to make it better. He's trying to improve on what he has, and uh, I think he definitely has with this. Well, he has without a doubt. Um, it's very slick, very dense, great cushioning. Um, takes a lot of water, which I like in a soap. Um, yeah, I, I like that. I really like that. Uh, yeah, so I just thumbs up from me, Kerry. I'll uh, definitely use this again. Uh, looking forward to seeing what sets you come up with. Um, yeah, thank you very much for sending it and the accompanying letter. Very good. Lots of information in there. Uh, I'll put links for uh, Phoenix and Bow. Everything else I've used. I'll put links for everything if I can find them. Uh, hopefully Kerry will come back in the comments um, with a kind of time scale when these soaps are going to be released. I'm not sure how early this testing stage is. I don't know. Uh, post shave. We had a face wash, rinsed off with cold water. Post shave was Mersol plastic and finished off with Nivea Men Originals. Replenishing post shave balm. And that boys and girls, ladies and gents, is the shave. Look at that. Damn near perfection. Damn near perfection. You don't want perfection because then there's nowhere to go. The only way is down after perfection, so near perfection uh, is better. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure when I'll get this uploaded. It might be Sunday, it might be Saturday, I don't know. But have yourselves a fantastic weekend. Uh, what's left of it, or if you're watching this later, I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. Um, if you're in the UK, Storm's coming. So stay safe, uh, batten down the hatches and uh, enjoy your shaves. Have some fantastic shaves, use some good gear. Let me know what you're using, what you're using in this weekend's shave. Um, uh, yeah, I've used some great stuff here. Some stuff you, you will have, the Parker variant, beautiful razor, really good. Okay, I've, uh, I've got some good stuff coming up. Um, some things that are being sent, I'm just waiting on them coming through. So. Uh, I'm really excited to show you guys them. Uh, looking forward to it. Okay, that's all from me for today. Have yourselves a great weekend. Look after loved ones. Chill out. Enjoy it. Relax. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.